everyone, this is Yogi Cameron. And I'm Yogini Jema, and this is Inspire Living. We are going to talk about how to be the energy that you want to attract. Ah, you've got to become it before you get it. So mm -hmm. let's say we're talking about success. Success in whatever, relationship, in your work, in something, being a better parent, whatever it is. How do you do that? You first got to create that energy, and then that energy emanates out of you, and it brings all the other energy, which is the like. Right? So like energy attracts like energy. We can't just sit around and say, I'm going to do that. Right? That doesn't really change anything. What changes something is when you start practicing, uh, let's say you want to be better at business. I mean, I can relate to this because <laughs> I'm a yogi. And yogis are not great business people. I can tell you that right now. Right? When it comes to the money so and all those things, we're like, oh yeah, whatever, sure, no problem. I love to teach, I love to communicate, I love to do that stuff. So I've had to learn that over the years is, no, I am a businessman. I am a yogi. I am this, I am that. I am those things. And then I've had to train and then learn and then ask people and go to people who are business people, learn from them. And then I suddenly realized, oh, I need to become that. I got it intellectually with everything else. When I went on the yogic path, I had to train to become a yogi. I got it. Mm -hmm. I had to train to become a Ayurvedic practitioner. I got those things. But business somehow didn't click in my head. I was more <laughs> like, sure, I'll get it. You know, I'll make some money and it's, it's all going to be great. And then, you know, I was going to be broke. And I was like, whoa, something's going to change here. <laughs> Because that's not cool. Mm -hmm. So even when you think you got it, it's not. There's something else you got to work on. So on that road to success of anything or whatever it is you want, you first emanate that energy outward. You start to become. You start to train. You start to read. You start to uh, be with those people of like mind. And then suddenly, there it is. The thing you want is there. Why? Because you've been over the years, and it takes some years, putting that energy out more and more and more, and boom, slowly, slowly, there it is, you know? <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm listening to you, and I'm like, yeah, he was sankalpaing. Sankalpa is a yogic practice where we set um, a focused intention in our mind, and we turn it into a sentence, or, or, or like a mantra. And Yogi was just saying, he would say every day, I am a businessman, I am a businessman. And it was quite uncomfortable and unfamiliar to him when he would be saying, I am a businessman. But it started to um, cultivate uh, that energy within him. Because we have to look at ourselves as a body of energy. We're compressed energy. This body is made up of 7 billion, billion, billion atoms containing energy, okay? All compressed in here. And we are body and we are mind both mind every thought that we have is a high frequency energy vibration that goes out into the universe to realize itself the moment that you think it every time we think we create okay so the yogis have two different practices we can approach what how to become what it is that you want to attract in two different ways mentally and physically yogi was first saying that he was using a sankalpa a focused intention. So make a statement for whatever it is that you're wanting to attract and start saying, I am that, I am that. It's totally going to feel uncomfortable in the beginning, mm -hmm. you know, um, and, and silly, uh, but keep doing it and keep doing it. That's one part. So that's using the energy of mind to start to animate and send out that message of I am this, I am this, I am this. Secondly, take the physical action of what that is. Yogi said that he started to study books. He started to meet with other people of like energy, of with business men and women, and start mm -hmm. to, you know, churn that energy externally. So the energy started to awaken in his, in his physical body. It started to awaken in his physical environment by communing with like energy. And meanwhile, he continued using that power of mind by stating the attention of what he wanted to attract. And Voila! The reason why I smiled when you started this whole thing is I think you're such a great businessman. You know, no, he is. He's, he's so good at it. Um, but, you know, you, you have come a long way and that's the power of how we can um, actually start to be 
that which we want to attract. Yeah, it's got to start with you. This is why you have so much power. I didn't realize at that moment I had the power to become. What I thought was, oh, I'm waiting for something to come. I was always waiting for somebody to come. But I had to first make the statement, I am. It's in me. It's coming out. I have to train. And the training is really important. The reading is important. The speaking is important because it keeps educating you. And it keeps building that foundation for you to grow on. Because at some point you need a foundation to be able to you know, make your moves on. But that building takes some time. So whatever it is you want to do, you, know, you want to be a musician, great actor, you want to be an architect, a painter, uh, whatever, whatever it is, a nurse, doctor, there's a certain amount of training that goes into it, but you've got to believe what you are. You can't just say, yeah, yeah, I'm that. No, it, the power behind your words needs to stick and then you'll really have enthusiasm for what you do, which is a lot of the work is in the enthusiasm that you have to for that thing that you want to do. Yeah. So keep training, keep educating yourself and say, <laughs> I am this, and then take the steps that you need to. Absolutely. Yeah. Namaste.